And tonight, there is a new group joining the fight against a proposed new Waco landfill along Highway 84 and Old Lorena Road. The Texas Association of Realtors is now backing many local organizations who are opposed to the new landfill. Channel 6 News reporter Jasmine Caldwell spoke to one of those groups who says this new support shows they're going in the right direction. Well, Doug and Leslie, the Texas Association of Realtors is one of the biggest political organizations in the state of Texas. Now, they were asked by the Waco Association of Realtors to support the opposed expansion of this landfill on Old Lorena Road with hopes that their influence will make a change. And now the Waco Association of Realtors now have the full support of some statewide heavy hitters. Their addition to this opposition will add money from the Neighborhood Defense Fund and a legal action fund to combat the efforts of the city of Waco to put a 290-acre 40-year landfill within a mile or two of 1,500 existing homes. The president of the Twin Rivers Homeowner Association say this is a turning point in their battle against the city. And for them to come into Waco out of Austin and say this is wrong, this is bad for the community, um, for the, all the realtors, Waco and, and Texas, to say this is not something that's good for your neighborhoods, that means a lot to us. It justifies, it, it lets us know that what we're doing is right. The proposed site for the new landfill received a lot of criticism from organizations like the Alliance for the McGregor Airport and Citizens Against Highway 84 Landfill. Last month, an engineer presented Waco City Council with a backup location within 15 miles of the city rather than the proposed Highway 84 location. Now, I did reach out to the city, and they tell me they have not decided when they will consider options regarding a landfill decision. Now, coming up tonight at 6, hear more on why the Texas Association of Realtors decided to join in on this fight. Reporting in Waco, Jasmine Caldwell, Channel 6 News. All right, thanks, Jasmine.